This auger bit has been in the vinegar bath overnight. Quick dip in the mineral spirits to make sure that I've got the oxygen blocked so it doesn't flash rust on me. Quick coat of wax, keep it from rusting. Funny thing about iron, wrought iron, which is uh, one of the earliest forms of flat iron that they used to make tools out of, didn't really have a problem with rusting. It didn't have much carbon in it. It was iron, it wasn't steel. There was some dissolved carbon in it because that's just the way iron is, it, it attracts carbon. But wrought iron, once it rusted, the coating on the outside formed a barrier and stopped it from rusting any further. So you'd have just a little thin layer of rust on the outside. When man figured out how to put the right amount of, ca of carbon into a piece of iron so that it was dissolved into it, and cause the iron to become steel. The presence of the carbon in the steel made it so that iron, instead of just rusting now, the steel would actually continue to rust on past the surface. No more just a little bit of fine rust on the outside. Now it would actually penetrate all the way through the whole thing and dissolve the entire piece of steel.
cast iron will do the same thing. Cast iron will rot completely away. I see what the problem is. I've got the cutter in there wrong. I need to have the cutter so that it's behind both things. It needs to go completely into the slot just like that. I had it sitting like this. I could tighten all day and it won't do anything. This is an Irwin number two, and this is an Irwin number 22. It's a little fancier version of this one. They're both about the same age, just this one's a little less expensive than that one. The selling point for the number 22 was that you could loosen the dial and then adjust the cutter in and out. And this dial would tell you what diameter hole you were going to cut based on that little mark there, which one it lined up with. It's close, but it's not really accurate. This one's in the next one for the vinegar bath. No need to put the screw in. Put the cutter and the shank. In they go. Tomorrow, these come out.